the World Wide Web has a key impact on our daily lives, be it from a business professional perspective through to personal use, and indeed when it comes to travel. And that area is seeing significant growth. So I've come along to this conference, WIT, that's Web in Travel Middle East, here in Dubai, to take a look at the latest trends. Well, WIT Middle East is a derivative of WIT in Singapore. Uh, we are basically a media and events uh, platform for anyone that's passionate about online travel. So WIT Middle East itself here is the conference, a one and a half day event that we are talking about to focus on what is happening in the online travel segment here. It's a very international mix actually. I'm very pleased, you know, uh, when, when we first started last year, we weren't sure what the mix would be. But so far we're getting uh, from Europe, we're getting from APAC, you know, Asia Pacific uh, and, and uh, you know, Singapore, Indonesia, you know, and Japan. And the kind of companies are tech providers, really anybody who's interested in the online travel. We've got online travel agencies here, we've got hoteliers here, we've got tourism boards, we've got airlines. So it's really the, so, you know, the segment of tra travel providers that are really interested in how the internet is changing travel. The theme of the conference, A New Dawn Rises, certainly attracted key players, like the global operators of travel search engines. So Skyscanner compares thousands of different websites across flights, hotels and car hire so people can come search and once they decide which price and provider they like, they can click on it and just go and complete the transaction somewhere else. Uh, we have more than 40 million unique monthly visitors who generate more than 100 million searches and sessions every month. That is a global company operating in 45 managed markets. We go in the Middle East uh, has grown pretty significantly. So just uh, uh, this time last year, um, we're doing about a million visits or uh, sessions a month uh, from users across the Middle East and uh, North Africa. Um, so March this year, there were about uh, four and a half million visits um, and about I think, two and a half, three million unique. Um, so this region is significant for us. Meta as a concept is this aggregation of different providers, so Emirates, Fly Dubai going into one place so you can compare the prices. We think it's the right moment to start looking into this market because there are enough players and customers would like to see a product that allows them to compare different providers in one single place. Both of these key players were witnessing significant growth of online traffic with some interesting statistics. We think we're going to grow. The growth that we've seen on mobile specifically is above 400% in each one of the markets we operate in English. So we expect that to grow over time. This is very much a mobile first market. So across the Middle East, we uh, about 65% of all sessions are on uh, mobile devices. So either mobile web or using our mobile app. Saudi Arabia is actually our most mobile uh, market. So it's closer to 80% now. However, one analyst had a very different viewpoint on the usage of mobile devices. We have uncovered across the nine countries that we have surveyed the total online penetration, which we know currently sits at 25%, and we are making a forecast until the end of 2017 that that number will hit 36% online penetration. We obviously look at the channels that they're using. Predominantly, people are still using the desktop. The march to mobile is enormous and the growth is substantial but the transactions are still predominantly on the desktop. Interesting points being made at WIT Middle East. So where else will the Web in Travel series be travelling to? We have uh, a few WITs around the world. So this is our first one for the year. So we like to kick off you know, in the desert. So we got uh, WIT Middle East. And then next, uh, at the end of this month, we have WIT Indonesia taking place in Bali. You're welcome to come and join us. And then we've got WIT Japan, in, uh, which is going to cover North Asia. That's in June. And then we've got the main conference in Singapore, which is in October.